all you wonderful, beautiful, and craptastic people. Craptastic Jack here, and I'm finally back. Uh, I went to a beach, and I got sunburn all over me. So that's that that that's nice. Um, and while I was there, Forza Horizon 3 was announced, as long as a bunch of other games at E3, and um. Unfortunately, I have not been able to make a video on it till today. I know it's a day after a lot of people have already put their videos out. They already spammed their videos out, but I'm still going to make one because why not? So yes, without further interruptions, let's begin. And here is everything you need to know about Forza Horizon 3. So let's begin with the terrain, where the location is. Of course, we all predicted it. It's going to be set in Australia. And to be fair, Australia looks a lot, um, a lot more, you know different than what I had expected it to be. I just expected it to be a couple beaches and the outback, but it does seem that this place does have quite a varied terrain, and it does look beautiful, I'll say that. And it does look like one of the best places to put Horizon. Uh, I've had my doubts about Australia, but these doubts seem to wash away because right now, Australia looks like one of the best places for a Horizon game. And then, what else we got? The map looks great, that's all I have to say. What else will happen? The game will come with 350 cars at launch. Now, this is the most for a ga Horizon game to date. And this is a great basis for the car list. Of course, it's going to expand more through all the DLC. Um, so, yes, we all know that, that's, that we're going to get endless DLC. Uh, but 350 cars is still great for a Horizon game. This is the most in a, a Horizon game to date at launch. And one of the coolest features about this game that they have um, promised is cross-platform play between Windows 10 and Xbox One. So basically this allows us to basically play on Windows 10 and if we and if we want to play with our friends who are on Xbox One, play with them anyway through, through the cross-platform no, cross play. That's, now that, that's pretty cool. And I have an Xbox One and a Windows 10 PC so obviously it's gonna be 60 frames on PC I hope and I hope it doesn't run like shit on PC. So yes, 60 FPS gameplay boys. So the next one thing up is that we are basically the band of Horizon 3 and we are in charge of the Horizon Festival. Now this is cool because we can choose from the get go where to go, what to do, uh, expand into what what kind of races we're doing, etc, etc. Now this is really cool and it also ties in with Forza Blueprint which allows us to edit new tracks and pre-existing pre tracks in Horizon Festival, create our own and allow it to share it with our friends and just edit the in-game races as well. And this is pretty cool. Choose what, co choose what cars and tracks and shit you put in the race, etc, etc. Now what else we have is something new, with something I really wish more racing games had, character customization. This is, it just, I can't really explain this, it's just character customization. We also have a four-player co-op campaign, which also ties in with the Windows 10 cross-platform with Xbox One. So you can go through the campaign with um, four, three other people, so yes, that's going to be cool. Alright, we also are getting custom horns and license plates, vanity plates if you want to call them. Again, more customization options. Eight new radio stations with one being for custom music. Again, this is really cool that we'll be able to, I don't, oh, I'm probably still going to end up with Spotify in the background anyway. Because, but still, the fact that they're adding all this, is it's still going to hopefully have really good music. And a lot better, because Horizon 2 didn't have that good music. Um, and... It, there's gonna be more so that's good and there's gonna be like eight radio stations so you know what else we have here is we can hire our friends to drive and bring new fans for the Forza festival I'm not really sure how this works I'm guessing it ties with the four player co-op campaign uh, but obviously if they're not getting enough fans you can just fire them so yeah it, it has to do with drive guitars. Um what else do we have we have wide body kits from Liberty Walk and Rocket Bunny now again this is really cool because Forza games don't really you aren't really known for having wide body kits but now they seem to be listening to the community and what they've wanted so something that you usually don't hear about turn 10 and Microsoft oh my god they're listening to their community for once finally um, so we're getting wide body kits in Liberty Walk and Rocket Bunny will be present in the game and more customization op options for the wheels so this is great as well it means more customization for more cars. So that's great. And there's also going to be hat. There's also going to be an auction house, which will allow people to buy and sell custom cars, paint jobs, and tunes, which sounds pretty cool. Clubs, car meets, seamless multiplayer will also be making a return in Horizon 3, and the game will be releasing on September 27th with early access starting on the 23rd of September 2016. So this game is actually coming out pretty soon, and overall, this from what I've seen, the game looks amazing. To be fair, it looks like a. a definite improvement over Horizon 2. Horizon 2 was great and all, but a lot of stuff was missing compared to Horizon 1. 
And it would be even cooler if they could bring back um, backwards compatibility for Ryzen 1. That would be sick. But um, that's basically all for now. Um, that's I wanted to get wrap things up really quickly uh, because I know a lot of people made this. So this is kind of like a little cheat sheet of what happened at the Horizon at uh, Horizon at E3. Uh, yeah, that's basically all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Horizon 3 news and shit. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.